Okay, so if you want to install the Sonics Heavy Duty 2.3 shift valve, there is one hole that you have to drill. And that hole location is right here by the number four check ball. And so they have you drill a 1 8 or 125 thousandths hole in this direction, okay, through this casting wall right here into this void. So here's the instructions. Okay, now what I've done is used a smaller bit. I think this is like, I don't know, 86 thousandths maybe, something like that. Uh, so I can drill a pilot hole. Makes it a lot easier. Then what I'm going to now do is follow that up with the 125 or 100 and, or 1 8 drill bit, excuse me, 1 8 drill bit so that I can finish it off and then we can install the valve. So the valve is drop in. You don't need to ream the bore or anything like that. And basically it goes in place of the factory valve, just like you see it. Then you install your shuttle valve, your two, three solenoid or solenoid B, and then your clip. And that's basically it. So that will give you overruns um, on in first, second, and third, or manual low, drive two and three. And this is highly recommended for any kind of high performance or heavy duty type application in a 4L60E transmission. Okay, before you put your solenoid back in with your clip, what I like to do is take a screwdriver and a punch. I'll put the punch here, and then I'll have the screwdriver, you know, way back where I can start levering or prying forward, and I will move the shift valve to and fro so that I can confirm or deny it's not going to drag in the bore. If it is going to drag in the bore, then I'll remove it. I'll use a bench buddy to polish the bore a little bit, and then I'll put it back in and kind of guess and check, if you will, until it moves without any restriction, but at the same token, you don't want to overdo it. So, you know, it's just as much art and science when it comes to this stuff, but, um, you know, uh, Sonics actually tells you you really don't need any bore polishing. Um, you just install it straight. Okay, once you have everything back together, you know, get your valve in, solenoid and all that stuff, uh, go ahead and reinstall all your check balls except for one. And that check ball is going to be the number six check ball right here. Okay, this is your coast clutch flow control. And what this check ball does is it acts as a restrictor of sorts, limiting the speed in which applied fluid can get to that piston. So in a daily driving application, that's fine. I mean, you know, basically what the um, factory is trying to do is to limit harsh abrupt shifts or engagements. But in a high performance application, harsh and abrupt engagements are the least of your concerns. The main thing you need to do is reduce the amount of slip as much as humanly possible between shifts or engagements. So if you're doing something street strip, you're going down the track, or if this vehicle is being used in a heavy duty towing and hauling type application, you're going to be using your manual um, range positions a lot more often than somebody that's just using their vehicles a daily driver. So by not having this check ball here, you hasten and quicken the uh, speed to apply for your coast clutch, therefore keeping it healthy. And that's what you want to do. So all your other check balls are to be reinstalled, including the one here next to it in the bathtub. But do not install this one if you want to realize the full benefits of installing that Sonics Heavy Duty 2.3 shift valve. All right, that's the video. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it as always. If you have any questions, comments, go ahead and leave them below. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day or evening. Thank you again. Take care. See you on the next one.